About 18 months ago, I was standing talking in Broadstairs and I just collapsed. I got taken to the hospital. I was there two or three weeks and then I was in respite for four weeks and now I'm home. And like many older people, Doreen Gaylor suffered a fall and as a result lost her confidence. The WRVS offers many services to older people in the home, hospital and community, allowing them to regain and retain their independence. Then Lindsay turned up, she stood at my door and she said she'd come to help me and um, from then she's been coming about every week and she first did some shopping for me so Lindsay's been helping me with that and she's been brilliant, she's been a godsend. To be honest, when I first got into it I didn't realise how much of an impact it would have on somebody. And when, you know, when we leave Doreen's house and walk down the high street, we can't get all the way down without being stopped by somebody and Doreen saying how wonderful I am and what difference I make to her. I didn't realise that it was such a big thing. So it makes it even nicer to know that what we do has such an impact on somebody who, you know, who sat and couldn't walk to now flying up and down the high street with her trolley. WRVS has been around for 70 plus years and we've been really focusing on developing older people services and older people services in the community, in their own homes and in hospitals. The main difference is that the services we provide are very practical and they're very down to earth which enable older people really to retain their independence in their own homes. It enables them to maintain control and choice over the things they want to do in a very tangible sort of way. It also provides an opportunity for them to uh, retain their confidence and their ability to be involved in the community, to engage in the activities they've always engaged in. In terms of lifting the burden on the NHS, I think the Dilnot report has given us probably the clearest indicator that early intervention in terms of preventative work is likely to reduce the escalating costs of social care amongst older people. WRVS's own research in terms of our social return on investment and our social impact assessment work certainly supports what Dilnot is saying. The WRVS want to work with local commissioners to support older people in the community. Working in partnership with the Royal Borough of Windsor and Maidenhead, WRVS are developing a pilot scheme to attract more volunteers. When we looked at what the WRVS had to offer, it clearly met the requirements that we had, very particularly about not just being an organisation that had a local presence delivering services within the Royal Borough, but also having a national profile. They had already made connections with local partners within the Royal Borough, and also with some national organisations to look at how could the development be in terms of social enterprise and what is the sustainability and the funding for the project because one of the important parts of it is not just about the volunteering but it's how people volunteer and how people in the community who want to volunteer can access that. So we're expecting there will be a web-based solution to that so that people can see what volunteers are available, what they might offer, and make arrangements directly themselves. We're very confident with growing numbers of older people, as well as younger people, who may be interested in volunteering, where we can provide a different offer, something that will attract people in a different way and to see what are the ways that new people who wouldn't have thought of volunteering might come in to help with the pilot, particularly because it will be then rolled out nationally. Over the next two years, WRVS is expanding and developing its services, both in the community and in hospitals, with a view to developing services that prevent um, older people being readmitted into hospitals, but also to help and support older people as they're being discharged from hospital after a spell of treatment. Our volunteers mean everything to WRVS. Our service users tell us what they require, what they need, what will make the difference to them. It's our volunteers that actually provide the work that makes that difference. Let's work together to make Britain a great place to grow old.